Hello out there, Mama Trip here. Um, this is my Chanel SLG video. I hope you guys like my pieces. I'm just gonna start from small and then work my way up to the largest ones, uh, like I did with my bag. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, these first here are gonna be my card holders. Um, this is the very first one that I bought. It's the you know black caviar in the silver hardware. This was. You know, I use this maybe daily for, I don't know, several years. So it's got a little bit of smoothing here in the corners, but otherwise, you know, and some pop stitches fraying here. Otherwise, I think she's pretty good. Maybe some transfer there. And she's not too loose, you know. Very squishy. Love the caviar. And then I use this so much that I wanted different options. So I purchased this pop of color it's kind of a green this is the true color that's coming through on the camera here um, and you can kind of see that it has the texturing details so you can actually see you know it looks very visually physical if that makes sense it's champagne gold hardware it's kind of a green turquoisey color you can see it's a little bit smoothing there Ooh, a little smoothing there as well um, not quite the stitches fraying the other one has, but yeah, my pop of color. And then I also got this one because I have a thing for the camellia print, as you will also see later. Um, got uh, several SLGs with the camellia. This one is the stitched one, not the embossed, uh, but still very beautiful. Has the CC in the middle of here. This one I've used the least uh, just because I wanted to keep it as nice as possible. So got the least amount of corner wear and then yeah stitching is nice okay the next one is gonna be my zippy uh, and when I used those guys I used this a lot as well too um, just to hold like excess things and change I did try to you know keep quarters and some change in the middle pocket here with my cash and that works mm, sort of but if you're, you know, kind of doing all kinds of stuff um, and then it's going to be upside down at some point, you know, this is much more secure. You know, it's got the gussets on the side. And I initially almost bought the boy version of this, but I couldn't, you know, like many of you out there have noted, I couldn't get over the plastic zipper. It's very cute, but I couldn't get over the plastic zipper. And I do note that I have, I don't own, but I have tried the Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse, and the, the zipper is much smoother. This is, this is not as nice, not as satisfying to open and close, but caviar, silver hardware. And then it's gonna be my flap card holders, and I do have two. So initially before the card holders had the pocket in the back. Um, I didn't think they were very useful. So I bought this one and this is called, I think it's the flap card holder in the extra large size. It has the Mademoiselle lock from the, you know, the 2.55s. It's in lambskin and this one has the Mona Lisa pocket on the back. So that's, you know, I looked long and hard for this guy because of the pocket feature. It's got the snap button and then two pockets and then the one in the front. So I use this guy for quite some time and then lambskin is fairly durable i know that it doesn't feel that durable and it seems very scary but it's actually not too bad i mean as long as you're not you know like scratching it with your nails or something you know if you're slightly gentler than you would be for something like caviar it holds up pretty well and then when they finally did this this is when i got one of these black silver hardware became much more functional and then let me show you a comparison of the sizes here in case you want to try it. I don't think they make these anymore so you have to get them pre-loved but that's kind of the size comparison and then the fatness about the same and then the pockets in the back so in terms of what they fit I mean this is just really taller uh, so it's easier to carry you don't have to fold your cash as much if you're using this guy It's one of the nicer things and then Aesthetics, you know, just the beautiful Mona Lisa pocket in the back versus just the added pocket. That's the major difference here Yep Okay, and then we go to my long wallets So this is the first 
one that I ever purchased. And I purchased this after I had kind of my first real job where I was earning money that wasn't going straight back into my education. And this is, I think it's called like the Yen wallet. But, you know, it's just, you know, standard wrap open wallet. It's got a bunch of card slots, has a zipper here. It's just... I chose the lambskin mostly because it was just gorgeous. At this time in my life, I wasn't really thinking about how long it would last or durability. I was just thinking I felt so grown up with this wallet, you know, and it was so beautiful and I had saved up for it and I loved using this, you know, every moment. It's got kind of some scratches in there showing a little signs of wear, but not too bad, you know. I really, really cherished my time with that one. And then the next one I purchased is this guy. This is another long wallet. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen these guys before. They're kind of my least used now. This one I have maybe used one time or have never used. And this one I bought because, again, I love the camellia print, but I love the studs. I love how you know, physically appealing, texturally appealing this is. I'm very tactile, so I just love running my hands over this. I love the visual aspect of this as well. And this is the wallet that, you know, I always say when I become a, you know, a grown up, this is what I'm gonna use. This is the wallet I kind of aspire to. But yeah, there she is. And then this one, oh, sad to say, this is one of my impulse purchases. You know, kind of saw it everywhere, kind of thought, hey, that could be useful. That could be kind of neat, but it's not, it didn't turn out to be something that fit my lifestyle, fit what I kind of wanted or needed, you know. My phone did fit in here. It's a caviar, champagne, gold hardware. But I didn't really like this, you know, so... I know that I use the Recto Verso and it does have the exposed cards in the back, but that one's more like a true wallet that I use it for. This was supposed to be functionality is like almost like a clutch or something that you could just take out of your bag and kind of go with. But, you know, if this was alone and I didn't have something to keep it in, I don't like the fact that my cards are always exposed no matter what I'm doing, right? Sitting it on the table at like a restaurant or, you know, carrying it while I'm walking you know, with no chance of putting this somewhere because let alone do we have pockets that fit <laughs> even these tiny things sometimes, but there's no way I'm going to fit this in like my pants or something. So I just, it just didn't work out. You know, I use this maybe one or two times and then that's it. And then next I'm going to go over, I just have two toiletry items. I have this guy, which I think is still called the O-Case. I was very confused. I think there's so many different ones that are called the O case, but this one, I used to travel a lot more. I think we all used to travel a lot more. So it's ready for the plane. Got my seed sickness bands and my eye shades and some moisturizer, face wipes, that kind of thing. Still ready to go at a moment's notice. And then this guy also a toiletry item. It's got the Mona Lisa pocket on the back. I bought this pre-loved. This might be, this is my only SLG Chanel that is pre-loved. Um, it has the standard kind of the shiny kind of wipeable lining on the inside and it's got like the mirror here and then zipper and then I don't think, yeah it doesn't have, oh it does, it has these two kind of stretchy compartments here. Yep. And it's a magnetic closure. Okay. And then the last ones in this collection are my wallet on chains or walks. My very first one, this is the first Chanel piece I ever bought completely, is this guy. I use this almost daily for maybe eight to ten years. You can see he's got <laughs> lots of stuff on him. And I think it's called like the Half Moon. It's got the CCs on the front, caviar leather. It's basically indestructible. I did have this chain replaced twice. Um, it did break at this point and then they paid for it uh, to be fixed back when their policies were a little bit 
better. And then over time, I think it's still on here. Let's see if I can find it. There is a part here where the leather has broken. I can't see. Oh, here. Right there. The leather has broken. And I did take it back to Chanel. And they said that's considered, I guess, normal wear and tear instead of like excessive or it shouldn't break so they thought that this should not have broken so they fixed it but now that one's considered normal wear and tear so it would cost you know a hundred something dollars to fix it and then also i'd have to pay for the shipping to and from the store so i don't know i don't really use wallet on chains that often and it's just a minor thing it doesn't actually bother me so i just kept it that way um this is my next wallet on chain. I got him actually as a gift. My actually one and only ever gift from my mother-in-law. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. I think my husband guilted her into purchasing this for me uh, in London. But it's the black caviar with the silver hardware. And that's a story for another time. <laughs> And then I have two more wallet on chains. These two I bought in Paris. Uh, I saw both of them. I could not decide which one to get. I ended up getting both because of the, the difference in price and the VAT tax refund. It was actually two for the price of one almost. And let me show you them at the same time. Ta-da! What do you guys think? We got a caviar, we got a lambskin, we got a pink. We got a black. So this is the same line as this guy. Right? So it's the stitching instead of the embossing. But, man, these were so beautiful when I saw them. And then this one I've carried to so many, like, special occasions. Just as a clutch, no chain out. It's so gorgeous. The pink is coming in true here. Does anyone else think that Chanel does pinks like no one else does? You know, when they get the pink right... And right is a relative thing, you know, because they come up with so many pinks. But whatever floats your boat, whatever kind of pink that you love, once they do it for you, they do it right, you know. It does dent in here, which is why I try to keep this guy like this. But I can't help it, you know. That's kind of a flaw in how they made these. And then this one is just also standard. You know, black inside. And I think is this textile lined or not leather lined? Oh, actually, no, this one's leather lined. Huh? Oh no, the sides are the sides are textile, but that wall is leather, and then this wall is textile. Yep. All right, guys, that was my Chanel SLG collection. Next will be my Louis Vuitton SLG collection. I think that's going to be a little longer. I do have, I think, more than double the amount. And I know in my last video I said that I was going to be embarrassed by the number. It's not so much, I'm not embarrassed. Like, I'm not ashamed of the things that I buy and kind of what I have in my collection and why I love them. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of that. It's just, uh, <laughs> I never really realized how many I have. And so the fact that I always kind of see new ones and go, ooh, I need that. I don't actually need that, right? Let's just be clear. <laughs> I don't need any of these things. And so I kind of have to, I'm trying to be more mindful and more grateful from what I already have and use these things because they're so beautiful. They deserve to be used. You know, this wasn't made. For me to hide it in my closet. This was made to be seen, to be used, to be loved, to be appreciated. Like, this is art to me. This is so beautiful. Alright guys, well that's it for me today. Um, if you like this video, do all the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, you know. Leave a comment down below, all those things. Any questions that you have of any of the pieces, any items that you're thinking about getting pre-loved. Um, I can hope to answer those for you and then yeah, see you in the next one. Um, 
Louis Vuitton SLG and then I think because of all the price increases I'll try to go over all of the items that I have bought pre-loved and then kind of how I made those decisions and my experiences with the companies that I have used what do you guys think yeah okay all right